Hey, what's up, B? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS device running iOS 8.1.3, 8.2, 8.3, and 8.4 on a Macintosh computer. I promised you all that I wouldn't make a video when Taiji released an official Mac jailbreak tool, and that time has finally come. I'm extremely pumped to show you all how to do this, and if you're excited as well, make sure you click that like button, and let's try to reach 600 likes. Now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, now that we're on our Macintosh computer, we can begin the tutorial. If you'd like to learn how to jailbreak using a Windows computer, there will be a link in the description for that. Anyways, moving on to actually jailbreaking, an important note is that if your iOS device was updated to 8.4 over the air, aka without a computer, this jailbreak may not work. Therefore, it's much safer and recommended that you back up your iOS device and update to iOS 8.4 again using a computer via iTunes. Also, if you're currently jailbroken on iOS 8.3 and want to update to 8.4, simply restore and update from iTunes too. As well as for this tutorial to work, you need to make sure your computer already has a version of iTunes installed, which I'm sure you all have, but if not, you can download it by following the link in the description below. And with all that being said, to begin the jailbreak, open your preferred web browser and type in the URL tyg.com backslash en. This will be the website that we'll be using to get the jailbreak. Simply click on the Apple logo or the Macintosh version and your download will begin. Once a download is complete, you'll have to open the tygjailbreak.dmg file. Simply drag the tygjailbreak into the applications folder, then you can exit and eject the uh, thing at the upper right hand corner and then simply open TyG jailbreak that's now in your applications. But you may get this notice just like I got and to actually open the application, although you get that notice, simply go to TyG in your applications via finder and instead of double clicking it to open, make sure you right click or press with two fingers and then select option and open. Then it'll say, would you like to open it? Select open and it'll open. Make sure that your iTunes is not opened when you open Taiji or else it'll give you the notice that it just gave me. So make sure it's closed. If not, then close it and open the Taiji jailbreak application again. And some things that you have to do before your iOS device is ready to be jailbroken is make sure that your computer is trusted by your phone. So select trust by unlocking it and make sure that your passcode is turned off. As you can see, it'll give you the notice as well as that find my iPhone is off on your iOS device as well. Those are the three things that you need to do before you can start the jailbreak. Once you're ready, you'll have a screen like this and you can uncheck 3K Assistant and start the jailbreak process, which pretty much does everything by itself once you select start jailbreak. And of course, this may take some time. However, I found that this Macintosh version was the fastest jailbreak that I've ever done with Tai G. In the past, using Windows on my Macintosh computer, it's taken a very long time just to jailbreak my iOS device. But of course, this is not in real time that you're seeing on your screen now. However, I can tell you that it only took me five minutes to jailbreak my iOS device using the Macintosh tool, which is much better than running Windows on your Macintosh device. So once the jailbreak is complete, it'll restart your iOS device and once it reboots, you'll now have an application called Cydia, which will allow you to do tons of things that normally you would not be able to do if your iOS device was not jailbroken. So once it reboots, go ahead and unlock your iOS device, scroll into your springboard until you see the new Cydia application that looks just like so, and it'll say preparing file system, Cydia will exit when complete, and this will take some time, about five minutes, and then it'll restart your iOS device. You can open Cydia and start having fun with your new jailbreak. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please leave a like as it's greatly appreciated, as well as share this video with a friend and let them know how they can jailbreak their iOS device on a Macintosh computer free and easy. Finally, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, I highly recommend you do so to be notified whenever I upload a video because I upload iOS tutorials like this one every Wednesday and Saturday and I'll definitely be showing you the best things to do on your newly jailbroken iOS device in the future. Anyways, thanks for watching, 
Thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation.